Hello everyone, Happy New Year 2023. This is Rohit and may this year brings you all success and happiness. I hope so. So today I'm going to show you how to work on the debug parts under the LWC. So this is a very most important for us if you are working as a Salesforce developer or LWC developer. So you have to know these things, right? So if you are new in this channel, so please subscribe my YouTube channel for more updates and let's get it started without any further delay. So now if you want to open Salesforce or so you know very well, just open your org using login.salesforce.com or test.salesforce.com based on your environment, let's say production or uh, like sandbox, right? So right now I have a free developer account. You can create this account, you know, very well. If you don't know, so you can watch my playlist about this account creation. So first of all, if you have like LWC component and if you want to check that code is working or not with the help of some debugging tricks, tips and tricks under the LWC. So you have to know these things, right? So first way, let's say I want to create one LWC component. Let's say this one and just search here create lightning web component and just you have to enter your component let's say hello debug log something like that or hello debug right so now you can see my component is created now so let's say i want to define some variable or property under the js right so let's say track i need track right trackable and this track let's say grating right and uh, under the connecting callback i want to check this this dot grating goes to uh, let's say hello world or something like that or just you have to uh, remove this one first of all this is the empty property right now and after connecting callback this is the life cycle hooks and i already assigned this hello world inside this grating and i want to check this one this value is coming in this variable or not or printed or not in the console so how to check first way you have to use this uh, console.log and this dot grading right so let me add some meaning to this one let me save it now you can see our js is ready so how to debug this js for lws so if you don't know so you have to know these things right so now under the org, first of all, you have to enable your debug log. So how to enable this debug log? So just you have to just search here debug. And this is the logs and this, uh, this is debug mode. So you have to enable this lightning component for debug mode. So just click on this lightning debug mode. Now you will be see lots of user, right? So let's say I'm a system administrator. So that's why you can see my name here, right? and others user by default given by the Salesforce. So here, just focus on that one. Here you can see like small checkboxes, right? So small checkboxes denoted, uh, you have to enable or disable uh, debug mode based on the user. Here you can see debug mode, right? And also you can see here, this is a checkbox. So right now all are check, unchecked here, right? So if you need to enable this debug mode for this user, so you have to check this one and click on this enable button. So this is the first way, right? So just click on this enable. Once you enable it, now you have to go to the home page of the any application as you have. Let's say right now I'm using this sales application. So here you will be see in the top, you can see enable debug mode for the lightning component it's already enabled for now right here you can see this um, like information under the lws right so for now debug log is enabled and debug mode is enabled for the lwc so how to identify or you know like how to check this code first of all i want to use uh, this component inside my you know lightning app builder page so how to use that very simple just go down just you have to expose this component otherwise you will not see this one right so here just you have to use target 
app page record page and home page based on your requirement you can use it and just click on this deploy and once you deploy your component just you have to check this component available in this page or not just click on this gear icon edit page and it will be automatic redirect into your lightning app builder page so now here you can see this is the lightning app builder page or visual editor for the lightning app builder page you can customize your application based on your need so here i have lots of component but here you can see my component hello debug right so just drag and drop here right and also just save it once you saved it just go back here and you will be you cannot see any kind of you know output because in the my html we don't have any kind of you know markup so just you have to use some markup inside this one so for your better understanding purpose so right now i'm using the card lwc card just save it and just deploy once you deploy this one you will be see the card right so how to show this one just you have to refresh this page and now you can see the card right this hello card card is now right so how to debug this component so main purpose of this video is debugging right so i already created this component just if you want to debug this you know this component just you have to click on this right button and click on this inspect element and here you can see lots of like console source network right just click on the console and here just let me remove everything and refresh this page you will be see my output under the connecting callback right so here it is let me show you now you can see my output in hello debug js right so what is the purpose of debugging if you are wondering about the you know code errors or some you know some faulty errors or something like that so always best practice you have to debug your code line by line execution so you need to know about the flow of the, your code right so this is the purpose of the debugging and it must be used for every developer right so now you can see this word is coming now means our component is working fine but I want to show my code how to check this component is available in this page or not. Yeah, you can check it. Just you can just click on this, you know, this is the select element and just click on this one. Right. So this is the component and click on this source file and under the home here you can see lots of things. Right. Like uh, this is my uh, org name, uh, org URL, libraries, pages and module and home. Right. So under the home, like you can see static, everything you can see here, right? But I want to search my file. So my file is not available here. So where it is, just click on this module part. Under the module slash C, you can see here that is called hello debug.js. So lots of the code here. So don't try to understand these things, right? Because of this is created by the LWC framework by default. So don't try to understand right now okay just focus on your code so my code where it is let me show you my code now you can see connecting callback right line number 54 and let me add some debug line number 55 because here you can see the you know grating property under the lwc and under the console here so how to debug it just let me refresh it again and once you refresh it now if you already add the debug point here it's automatic comes on that particular line so right now you can see undefined just click on this you know step over next function to call f10 once you click on this one just click on this you know grating variable i say automatic highlighted and it's showing like word under that particular property and after that once you click on this one again under the console you will be see my output here somewhere now you can see in the last that is called word so this is the way to debug your component first steps under the first step second how to enable it with the help of some you know commands or you know some codes so i already enable this debug mode with the help of some you know uh, configuration part but i need like customization based on my need or based on our requirement we can debug uh, this uh, debug mode 
for the particular user so how to do that let me show you here so right now you can see this is already enabled right so under the vs code if you don't know about this script right so just click on this you know script folder you can see like apex sql just click on this apex and click on hello world this uh, hello apex in your case maybe different files is available but right now i already created if you want to enable or disable the debug mode with the help of some codes so this is a some tricks you have to follow it and you can use it right now here let me add you know like code for this one so let me add like update command you know the dml operation under the apex that is called uh, create update delete right undelete like that so just update new this is the code for you know uh, debugging of the particular user enable the debug for the particular user so user under this user we have another setting and before that let me show you under the console right so under the developer console let me show you that one for your better understanding purpose that's why i'm trying to explain each and everything so under the file just click on this open under the open just click on the object and search here user so once you search this user you can see lots of field for this user under user object we have another field that is called user preference user debug mode pref so i need that fields in the in my code so how to do that let me show you here so under here user preferences you will be see somewhere that is called pref in the last so let me try to search here like this if you don't see anywhere just you can control f and you can find out now you can see in the last right in this here this one so i need this field so just you have to copy this field right so just you have to copy this field and paste it into your code so how to do that let me show you here so update new user this is the code and i need id id equals to and uh, goes to user info is the class under the apex if you don't know so you can learn from the apex like user info dot get user id dot get user id this is the function right so under this function or after this function you have to give comma and then you have to use your uh, field so my field name is user user preferences you will be see somewhere user preferences uh, let me show you immediately here if you don't know about these things so just scroll down scroll down scroll down and you will be see here this command or you can we can say that this you know code so now you can see user preference user debug mode pref so let me show you the uh, field first of all so pref only pref so let me correct my code because i already added some else so no need so once you add this code right so what we need to do here just you have to check right now it's already enabled so how to identify just click on this you know uh, here in this tab you can see this notification in the top means the debug mode is already enabled for this user so i need to disable it so how to disable it one way is you can disable from here right so it's already enabled just let me refresh this page so you will be see some check boxes of that particular user so you can see debug mode for this user is already enabled i need to disable it so how to do that and vice versa as well so just you have to make it this property as a false right and just you have to click on this execute anonymous once you execute this one just you have to do one thing just please observe this is the point here so now you can see this is the uh, information in the top of the page here just once you refresh it you will not we see somewhere this in information about the debug right so now let me refresh it you cannot see any information in the top and also it's a automatic uncheck let me refresh it and once you refresh it now you can see it's automatic unchecked please observe right 
and uh, how to enable it with the help of code just you can make it this property it falls to true just save it execute and once you execute just refresh your page first of all ui let me refresh here now you can see in the top you can see this debugging debug mode for this user is already enabled and also please observe right now all the checkboxes are unchecked right now just let me refresh it you will be see some checked automatically in this user so just let me refresh this page and here you can see it's automatic check here so guys this is how you can enable it you can disable the debug mode based on your requirement for the specific user all the user based on your need so i hope guys you like this video also you learn something new in this video i hope so please subscribe my youtube channel for more updates right so till then bye bye take care see ya and thank you for watching